there's a button. There's a button in the back. No, no, not that one. That's the zoom. That's a zoom. Lisa, that, oh, yeah, yeah, that's one. Okay. Well, the light wasn't on. The light's still not on. Is it on? Are you sure? Okay. Thank you for joining us. I'm Raymond O'Neill, and you're watching, well, the remains of the Bible News Network. If you tuned in yesterday, you saw our field reporter Brad Bartoloni get soaked by the very first rain on Earth. Water pouring from the sky quickly overtook Brad and suddenly this news studio as well. But by the grace of God, our camera is still operational and I was able to bribe Lisa the cleaning lady, the uh, only other living staff member here, to take over. I told her she could help roll tape or go outside to a watery grave. You made the right choice, Lisa. Good job. And remarkably, we actually still have an open line with Brad. Brad, are you there, Brad? Uh, Brad, your signal is really choppy. Look, I realize you were almost killed, but let's try to deliver a quality product, shall we? Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm truly sorry, Ray. I'm very sorry about that. I guess I didn't take into account the signal quality when I was <laughs> trying to stay alive. Well, we all have priorities, Brad. Mine happen to be future investments in jet skis, but enough about that. How on the flooded earth did you manage to escape this massive disaster? Yeah, you know, Ray, it is a remarkable story. There I was, in the middle of this torrential downpour of rain that you saw yesterday, you remember that? And eventually I remembered, wait, Brad, you fool. Go to Noah's Ark! There's a reason that guy was building that boat! Ah, yes, you mean the Ark that uh, Tad was interviewing Noah about as they finished the construction. Come to think of it, I'm not... I'm not even sure what happened to Tad. Hmm? Tad's missing? Oh, that's a phrase. I mean, that's a raise. I mean, that's a real shame, Ray. Anyway, back to my story. There I was, out running a wall of water as tall as Mount Everest, when I spotted the Ark in the distance. I really hope Tad's okay. I was gonna ask him to invest in some jet skis. Hey, can we focus on the coolness of my escape from peril, please? Okay, so here I am, running to the ark as fast as these little legs will take me, when all of a sudden, they start to close the door. Wait, so, well, how far away were you when they started sealing up the ark? I was about 10 feet away at the time. At least they didn't hear me screaming bloody murder for my life. Anyways, to make a long story short, too late. I quickly fashioned this raft out of unused construction supplies and a stand of rubber trees nearby, and quickly hopped in as the whole valley filled with water. Fascinating story, Brad. But you know, it does leave me with some questions. I don't want to sound nitpicky or anything, but how did you outrun a giant wave? And how did you manage to construct a plastic life raft when Obviously, it's really difficult to temper the urethane vinyl blend fabric coating. And most important, who's manning your camera right now? Yeah, all good questions, Ray. But to answer them would take more than 30 seconds, and frankly, I just don't have the energy. Yeah, I was, I was gonna mention that too. You've been out there for, what, 24 hours? That's right, Ray. And you look like you've been out there for a, well, a lot longer. And? And... Thanks for checking in. We'll have more updates from Brad as the flood continues. I've just been handed something by our once cleaning lady, now camera lady. And, uh... Oh, it appears fr it's from our weatherman, Frank Franklin. Uh, Frank was recently ambushed by a gang of sea turtles in the copy room. Whoa. Uh, but thankfully not before he made a long-term weather forecast for you, the viewers. And there you have it. Frank has this storm charted for at least a month. Of course, this is coming from a meteorologist, so please take that with a grain of salt. Boy, my watercraft rental business is sounding better with each passing minute. What? What? Oh, uh, we have him on now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, we, apparently we've made contact with our other field reporter, Tad Schultz. Tad, what happened to you? 
Ray, I am actually standing inside Noah's Ark. Noah graciously let me hitch a ride when I told him that I couldn't swim. Are you serious? You, you never learned how to swim. All that vacationing in Eden and you never learned. No, Ray. Guess I never picked up on it. Anyways, I was able to get a signal to you by running a cable up one of the giraffe's necks. That's amazing. Really, not even, not even a basic dog paddle technique. Look, Ray, 54% of the world's population can't swim, okay? Oh, actually, that statistic is no longer applicable at all. But, but that's beside the point. Let me get back to talking about this magnificent boat. I mean, this sucker is 75 feet wide, 45 feet tall, and 450 feet long, okay? That's as tall as a four-story building and much, much longer than I can run without getting horribly, horribly winded. Wow, that's very impressive, Tad. The dimensions of the Ark, I mean, not your doughy physique. I was, I was curious about all the animal noises. So are those the animals that Brad reported on yesterday? The very same, Ray. What Brad actually saw were pairs of every living animal and every kind of bird getting into the Ark. God had Noah bring extra pairs of certain kinds of animals for food and sacrifices along the way. God is very thorough. So have you, have you heard from Noah when this giant flood will end? Uh, our, our weather guy predicted over a month. Noah said that the Lord told him it would rain for 40 days and 40 nights. I guess God is making sure that everything on earth is completely wiped out. But Noah is putting his full trust in God to lead him and his family through this world-changing event. What was that, Tad? <laughs> oh, that, Ray? That would just be a psychotic chimpanzee who keeps thinking I took his breakfast. <laughs> Crazy primates. Oh, dear. He looks very, very angry. I... I don't have your bananas. You keep thinking, I don't even like bananas. I do not have your bananas. What are you doing? What are you, no, no, do not, do not touch the pool. Well, thank you, Tad, for that informative report. It appears that we're going to get nonstop rain for almost six more weeks. And if I was Brad, I would definitely learn how to fish. And maybe work on my professional appearance a little. Until next time, this is Raymond O'Neill for the Bible News Network, signing off.